Welcome to Fun Math. Today we're going to be talking about number analogies. Here we have five examples to understand how to solve number analogies. Before we move on to these examples, I have to ask you a question. What are number analogies? Analogies are similarities between things or numbers. Here we're just going to be talking about number analogies. Let's talk about the first example. In the first example, we have three different groups. One, two, and three. So here, what? So 20, we have the numbers 25 and 33. So here, it's the, it, so 25 plus something will, which will give us, which will equal and give us 33. So the, so 25 plus 8 will give us 33, right? So we're going to write that up here. Now, since we got plus 8, we're going to see if this, we're going to apply plus 8 in this place, this rule. Apply this rule in this group. And if that works in this group, that means we're going to apply it here and we will get, we should get our answer. Okay. 61 plus 8 give us 69. Yes, it's correct. That means our rule, we're going to apply that here as well. Plus Eight. So that means 42 plus 8, it should be 50, right? Our rule here was plus 8. Okay, let's solve the second example. Here, we're also using the number analogies and we have three different groups okay so here if you see it's either subtraction or division but i don't think division can work because because division because 75 and 66 are closer to each other so division can't work so it, we know that it can only be more subtraction okay so what's 75 minus something that will give us 66? That number should be 75 minus 66, which is 9 minus 9. So we will apply this minus 9 rule in this group and see if it works or not. Okay, 33 minus 9 gives us 24. That's correct. So that means this rule is correct. So if this rule is correct, we are going to apply minus 9 over here in the third group. So what's 58 minus 9? It is 40. It is going to be 49. So here our rule was minus 9. Okay, let's solve the third example. If we have three groups that are different and they're also number analogies. So let's solve it. So here if you see, it's increasing. So it's starting from 44 plus 55 plus something that will give us 55. So 44 plus 11. That's correct, right? So if it's correct, we're going to apply plus 11 in this, in this. We're going to apply this rule plus 11 over here in this group. If it works, we're going to apply that rule plus 11 by 73 plus 11. Okay. Is 19 plus 11 gives us 30? Correct. So that means we're going to apply plus 11, that rule over here. 73 plus 11 gives us 84. So then we're going to apply the rule here. 
So the rule is plus 11. Now let's solve the third example. The fourth example. Here we have also the number analogies. So we're going to do that here. Okay. So here we also have three, three groups here. So the, let's see. 21. It could be addition or multiplication because it's a smaller number and it's becoming a bigger number. So it's increasing. So 21, let's try multiplication because addition, it might not work. Here it can be a little hard to think addition or multiplication. So let's see here. Let's move on to the next group. The next group says 7 or added or multiplied by 28. By something that will give us 28. What is that number? If you know that the times table, it is times 4. So that means here, let's apply that. So here it's times 4. That's correct. So now let's see here. 21 times 4 will give us 84. That's correct. So we're going to apply that same rule over here. 14 times 4. What will it give us? It should give us 50, 56. I'm, yeah, 56. And the rule is times 4. Okay, let's solve the fifth example. The fifth example, we have three different groups. And here, if you see, this is a big number and this is a small number. So it's decreasing. So it could either be subtraction or division. But if you see here, it can't be subtraction because it's it looks like it's way too small. So let's up, try to apply division here. So 36 divided by some number that will give us 9. So let's try 9 times something that will give us 36. What is that some number that you multiply by 9, which will give you 36? If you remember the multiplication table, it's 4. So we'll do divided by 4. So let's try applying divided by 4, this rule, over here. So is 60 divided by 4, 15? That's correct. So since this rule applies in both groups, we're going to apply this rule over here. 72 divided by 4, which will give us, if you remember the multiplication table, it should give us 18. So the rule here that we had was, div was divided by Four. All right, let's review what we learned today. We learned about number analogies. We had five different examples. And in these five examples, we had three different groups. And one last thing to say that's very important. What is analogies? Analogies is a similarity between things or numbers. We used number analogies in this video. I hope you learned something from this video. Thanks for watching. Bye.